Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, I will explain to you clearly how to fix and prevent crashing in BlueStacks 5 or BlueStacks 10 if you're using that version. So generally, without any misleading information, I would tell you that if your system is not corrupted, if your system is working stably and everything is fine, this app should not be crashing whatsoever. But if it does crash, the immediate and very possible fix for this is to just go ahead and reinstall the app. So for that, just go to your app list in Windows, just uninstall it. Also clear out any clutter that it leaves. For example, um, program data, maybe some uh, temporary files, just delete them all so that you have entirely nothing in your system regarding BlueStacks. I recommend if you want to do that, uh, use an app called Everything. I will launch this up now and show you. Okay, so this is the app. And basically this is a very handy search app. So just type in glue stacks and you see how many files I have here. So just make sure to delete them all. If you have any issues, just delete all the files. Don't worry. Just firstly uninstall the app itself from the apps list, then delete all the leftovers right here from the search. After that, install the app again and see if that fixes the issue. If not, I will go into settings and explain to you the other things that might apply onto your emulator crashing. So first of all, of course, performance settings. If your PC can't keep up, make sure to choose adequate settings. If you have a four core processor, I would suggest going with a medium settings, which will use two of your cores. If you have a 16 gigs of RAM, for example, high is okay. If you have eight, just set it to four or two, that should be fine. Also high performance. If you have any issues with crashing, make sure to use either low memory or balance. Do not go for high performance. Also high frame rate might cause issues as well. If you do not have a monitor that supports above 60 Hertz, do not set this as it will give you literally nothing. Also VSync, it generally shouldn't cause any issues, but if it does, maybe that's because you're setting this one and turning it on, might want to disable it as well. Now under display, Make sure to also choose adequate resolution, not too high. If you're going low, nothing will happen. But if you're going too high, your PC might not keep up and that actually might cause the crash. Also high pixel density. If, for example, you're going for the custom and setting something wrong, that might cause uh, your emulator to crash as well. Under graphics, make sure to choose adequate settings as well. In the previous videos, I have said that depending on what GPU you have, once again, OpenGL, NVIDIA, Vulkan, AMD, DirectX is a good all-rounder. Make sure to choose accordingly. If you're only using the apps, I suggest going for DirectX. If you're gaming, it's going to be OpenGL and Vulkan. And of course, interface renderer, DirectX or OpenGL. Also these experimental settings. If you're having any issues, just turn them off. Just go ahead here and disable. Uh, also, of course, prefer dedicated GPU. Always set this to on, never turn it off. Also under the phone, make sure to choose the latest model. As you can see, the best one here is S22 Ultra. Just make sure to choose this one. If you have a weaker PC, going for the lower and weaker model of the phone might fix the issue. Maybe Xiaomi 11T Pro, that might help as well. And that's generally how to fix the crashes. Hopefully this helps to you guys. If it did, leave a comment telling us about your experience with fixing your BlueStacks issues. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel as that helps us a lot. Press the like button, click on the notification bell to not miss a new video. Thank you for watching, guys.